So here it is, YouTube. I'm Roadhawk Wilson, welcoming you into my home. And if you read the title of this video, there's a lot I could discuss. A lot about how I didn't think I'd be in this field. A lot about how I ended up in this field. But I, I want to do those in separate videos. But what I really want to discuss is why I'm in healthcare. And there is something ironic about me in particular being in healthcare just because it's something I never thought I'd be in. Yes, I am mentioning that. However, what I realized very quickly with my first interview in healthcare was during a time I did not have a job. I was struggling. I was trying to figure out who I wanted to be and what I wanted to be. And my head is slanted so you don't have a blurring light in your eyes. But I interviewed with a school called Joshua School, which works with individuals with disabilities, particularly autism. Notice I didn't say who who have well who are autistic because that's not how it's said. It's they aren't their they aren't their disability. They are that's just one part of them. And it was really at that point when I was in that interview that I actually found that I loved the system of the school and ultimately through getting a job at a day program which if you've never worked at a day program I'm trying to position my head there we go um, it, it takes up a lot of your time but I ran across patients with dementia with all kinds of disabilities and yet I found myself falling in love with these people and when I opened my own business when I decided to do this um, what kept me going was interacting with people was interacting with people who were different than me who were unique who had different hindrances than I do and they smile they laugh they joke they Yes, they get upset. Yes, they get angry. Yes, they get visibly upset with me. I mean, I've had I've had clients basically tell me to f off and go away because they never want to talk to me again. And then the next day they hug me and treat me like I'm I'm the most important person in the world. And this is a selfish reason, but I'm happy being around those people. I'm happy being around people who don't take the world for granted and realize that they're not limited by what they have it's a strength I'm in healthcare because I love the people I work with I'm in healthcare because every day I see people who people would say are are far worse off than I am and yet they're so much more filled with life so much more filled with joy so much more filled with happiness like genuine happiness than I do in my optimistic pessimism yes I'm still trying to block the light out for you guys because that's just glaring but the ultimate message of this video is you never know where you're gonna find your purpose you never know what's gonna make you happy but seeing people who are happy to see me seeing people who who give me purpose in their happiness and making sure they're happy drives me every single day yes I struggle yes I don't always perform at the peak I can but these people who I love who love me treat me with respect and dignity and that's something I've had very rarely in my career in multiple other jobs um, it's amazing how much we take gratitude for granted. It's kind of an oxymoron. But if you think about it, most people spend their lives looking for gratitude or not acknowledging the gratitude that they could have. And there's this whole demographic that just believe in being happy and not focusing on what can make them mad or angry or all that and yes that isn't everyone's story but that's mine so with that I'm gonna say keep up what keeps you healthy 
I know I haven't been able to block that light wholly, but I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you look at these. We're going to do more videos like these because they're a little easier to do on a weekly basis, and we hope to do more kind of analytical videos down the road as well. But I promised we'd have a video up within 24 hours, and I'm keeping that promise. I will see you later. Keep up what keeps you healthy. I can't say that enough. And I will see you later, my people. Bye.